Hello again, YouTube. This is Rand Actor Talk. Uh, right now, I'm going to talk to you in this short little video about some uh, headquarters and barracks gear that I've recently come across. Uh, this first one's going to be more for headquarters and you clerk types. This is a Royal Model O, and these typewriters were made between 1935 ish and 1939. Uh, I haven't checked the serial number for the exact date on this one, but it's perfect for wartime dated. Uh, fully functional, I just need to get a new tape here. This is how it actually operates. You press a key. And it hits that, and there's ink on your paper. Uh, these could have been used by the U.S. Army. The Army also produced their own typewriters, or at least bought some from civilian contractors made for their specifications. Uh, but these were also used. Uh, I've used one like this before. And it works very well. And for those of you who don't know. There's no number one key. <gasps> what do you do? Lowercase L. That's your number one. I was confused at first. When I first saw it. But luckily someone. Knew what they were doing. And told me about it. Um, I otherwise wouldn't have known. Uh, this is brand new stuff to me as far as clerking and HQ and stuff. Uh, I usually just make the pro papers products for it. I don't know how to fill them out quite yet, but uh, I'm getting there. Uh, so this other thing right here, this hunk of green. This is actually a 1942 dated barracks bag. So the pre-war barracks bags, uh, some of you might know, were blue denim. And if it'll focus... There's the dates, made April of, four, April of 42, contract dated February 27th of the same year. So this replaced the denim barracks bag. It's basically the same type of bag, just in olive drab. And it closes the same and has drawstrings on each end. Holds a lot. Each soldier was issued an A and a B bag, labeled A and B. This was later replaced by the duffel bag. Everybody knows what the duffel bag is. There's no need to explain it. Uh, as I add more to this little collection, I will be showing more. Uh, but as far as HQ type stuff and barracks stuff in general, uh, this is all I really have right now. There's not too much difference between barracks and your regular impression. Just, uh, you gotta keep in mind, barracks stuff is, uh, not always stuff you take in combat, but a lot of the stuff is what you wear into combat, clothing-wise. So I'll be doing a more in-depth video on that at a later date. Uh, until next time.